Hi guys, Zack here with another Command & Conquer Red Alert video. In this game I'm playing a free for all match on the map All It Glitters. I'm starting in the bottom right position playing as the Soviets. I'm a little bit later with this upload because I had a little bit less time than I expected on the weekend. Um, and for this start, we're starting with 5,000 ore, so I do have to be careful. If I started with more ore, I would have built more infantry, but because I've already got like five uh, 5,000, I just build five. I want enough to defend my base. I also need to want, want to take one of my infantry out scouting just to get a bit of a better view of the things around. I'm going to have to actually sell that barracks. Probably not the best thing to actually have to do because uh, you could always get infantry attack there are some players who on when you start with 5,000 or do take like quite as many infantry as they can uh, to attack other players and catch them off guard but I'm just gonna have a look around and try and fight where my opponents are and because people produce less infantry I can probably get a little bit more visibility than I might do otherwise and you can see me there building two ore trucks uh, from my from my war factory. I'm just going to wait till I get some more trucks before and I managed to, I lost that infantry unfortunately. But I can see where Red is, who's to the north of me and you can see him bringing one of his infantry down south and we're going to attack that and stop it getting through. And that's the important thing because what we don't want is we don't want them to have visibility over our base else that'll put me in a bit of trouble because uh, then they'll be able to know exactly what I'm going to be doing. And there you can see I'm now building my next ore refinery. Um, and what I need to do is I need to manage my ore trucks, because if you don't manage your ore trucks on on this map, what tends to happen is it goes to the ore which is closest to the war factory they come out of, the ore trucks, uh, when they first come out. And that's basically, the, they have to go right round the cliff to get to it. Um, so you do have to be very, very, very careful. And also this position is the worst corner to start on. If you're starting on a corner, this is the one you probably don't want to be on because as you can see, it's very, very tight for your ore trucks to get in and out. And it's just like an awful position. Once you get like out of that like little corner and start expanding out into the map, it gets a lot better. But this first part is a little bit annoying and it does take a bit of a, uh, just a bit of micro management in order to work. And yeah, you can sort of see where that or one of my ore trucks, I've done a little mistake there. I haven't managed it correctly, so it's gone a little bit further than it needed to. And now I'm going to be building that next war factory so that I can uh, build speed a little faster. And what I'm going to be doing is I've, I've got to actually start building tanks there. But now, as you can see, as we get more ore trucks, we're going to be able to clear more ore out of this patch. And we're going to have room for our third ore refinery. And obviously, this second and third ore refinery in so much posi better positions than that first one, which is sort of like in the corner there. And what you have to remember to do when you're like sort of building extra ore refineries is make sure you start redirecting some of your ore trucks so they're not always going to the same one. Like, uh, so they don't, otherwise I'd have most of my ore trucks go, still going to the first ore refinery. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to direct some of them so they go to that third ore refinery. And I am building my third war factory. And yeah, we can see this, uh, we're sort of uh, doing all right now. We're sort of building up our ore reserves. We've got two war factories working full time and we do have enough for a third war factory now. And what I tend to do actually is go for a fourth war factory and then I send I build two more ore trucks. And I see that seems to work all right actually. So hopefully it will on it. I mean this position's not so good, so it might be a bit uh, ambitious in this position, but uh, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, we are getting a lot of those uh, tanks out now and we'll be getting quite a decent sized force. And I tend to do this rather than go for because so what some players do is they go for very early M extra MCVs and I tend to go for more tanks early on um, just because it allows you to do that early attack and have a fight early on. Uh, if you build MCVs too early, then it leaves you vulnerable. And we can see Red there with his elite tanks and he's got a truck there. 
And what we see him do now is we see him go straight... He's just ran straight past me, so it looks like he's trying to go for my base. Um, so I'm just going to sort of like chase for now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to split my tanks. I'm going to send some to his base and defend with some as well. So we're going to have to go back to our base now and see what he's going to try and go for. I'm also going to be building a large power plant. And it looks like he's just trying to dive straight through at the time being. So we've got, we're at his base. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to destroy those two. Oh, trucks, I sort of need a... Oh, I've just lost my MCV, so um, I'm sort of losing all the power here. And, yeah, he seems to be going for my power plants at the moment, uh, which isn't uh, obviously going to put me at a bigger disadvantage. And, yeah, it's just gone down. I didn't have enough time. Uh, we'll have to still try and destroy him. Um, we'll see what we've got. Now, I, what I do notice is his all trucks aren't moving, so it looks like... Um, yeah, he's trying to move his MCV, actually, to get into another location. But I think I'm going to be able to take that out, because I can't see. He doesn't have enough units. Uh, so you can see him moving his MCV. I don't exactly know where he's going to go completely. Um, his tanks are stationary, so they're not uh, moving around at the moment. So we'll try and destroy those. And I just have to be very careful, because I don't know if he has any other tanks uh, on the... Like, around... And I don't know if he actually has another MCV because he does seem to have quite a few, not as many units as I would expect at this time of the game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to just pull back a little bit. And I can see him moving one of his ore trucks there. So maybe he does have another base somewhere. And we'll just destroy that ore truck there. It does actually destroy all, so I don't know if he's uh, got another base or whether he's just got that ore truck and hiding it for now. I think we'll sort of like find out but what you can see here is I'm a bit I'm very struggling a lot because I've got like I've got no power at all and I've lost my construction yard so I'm not going to be able to build any more things and we can see there red has his final base so yeah he was building an outer base and because he built that outer base and got that information center well tech center that meant he didn't have as many tanks on the field and that's why he got beat there so i think that'll probably be his only base i will have to check that middle section but yeah we can see yellow there as well uh, so we're going to go for yellow now and we've got our tank tanks on that and what you have to remember now he's going to got low power i'm going to have a very slow tank building speed compared to what i would have otherwise um, but I do have like four war factories so that might help a little bit and now you can see with the attack on yellow yellow's using a lot of missile launchers here and uh, missile launchers aren't very good against tanks they do a lot of damage but they get destroyed very very easily and you can see it's yellow being destroyed there and we're going to go for his heavy tanks now again and yeah it's looking decent for us at the moment against yellow because I don't think he, yeah he's uh, sort of there uh, in a tricky spot and we've also got blue as well at the top left of the map so i'm just going to pull back a little bit for now and yeah uh, because obviously my tanks aren't going to be be able to be replaced that easily what i was doing though there is was checking for red and where red was but it seems the two other players are sort of in that top left position and um, so it looks like red isn't around that area and now i'll just check here but yeah, and there's no one here yet. So I'm, what I'm doing is I'm just getting map visibility so I can check every location so no one's going to be hiding anything anywhere. And um, Because everyone's had enough time at the moment to get multiple MCVs. And as long as I can have full map, like almost full map visibility, that's uh, going to put me in a decent position. And we can see that Yellow's actually got a second base here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go for this base. Uh, he's also got a Tesla coil, so we'll have to destroy those. He's got a couple, actually. So he's gone for, like, a multiple MCV build. And he does have a lot of ore trucks, so his economy is really, really good. And he'll be able to pimp, pump out large numbers of units if he wants to. And those Tesla coils will be building a bit quicker because the, he has got multiple MCVs. And now let's, we've destroyed that uh, construction yard and his ore trucks are sort of doing a bit good job of blocking my uh, tanks at the moment we can see he has got two ore trucks uh well he's got another mcv there so we'll destroy that 
and we've destroyed quite a few of his ore trucks and his ore refineries so we've done a lot of damage i'm just having a little check on my base and it looks like yellow he's not going for my base he's going for my tank mass uh Obviously, Yellow will be able to replenish his units a bit quicker, but hopefully we've been able to do enough damage there to halt him quite a bit. And he's got a couple of ore trucks there, which we've been able to take out. Obviously, my economy is absolutely fine for the speed at which I can build tanks because um, that's not very, very fast. And yeah, you can see Red... Uh, Exiting the game now. I think he's, re yeah, I think he was waiting just to see if I got killed uh, quickly. But uh, it's looking all right at the moment. Now we're going to take our tanks together. We can see Yellow with his uh, tank. He's sort of got a scout there, um, and we do want to stop that getting into our base because if he sees how damaged my base is, then it could be a little bit of a trouble if I get attacked by a reasonable force. Because all he has to do is destroy buildings. If he destroys buildings, then. Well, he seems to be just trying to go for the building destruction. I think he, I thought he was just scouting there, but uh, that wasn't going to work. He's bringing some more tanks in, but that's not enough. If he trickles tanks in like this, they're just going to get destroyed very, very easily, and they're not going to do much damage at all. And now we look at his home base, and he's got... Yeah, he's got a few tanks there and a Tesla coil there, but my tank mass is greater and hopefully I will be able to take him out in one strike. I'm just waiting here because I wanted to bunch up my tanks first before I go in for the attack because I have to be quite conservative, like quite like conservative in the way I use them. He's bringing his missile launchers forward, so we'll uh, try and take out those. We'll also have to take out that Tesla coil as soon as we can because those Tesla coils do pack a punch. And now going for his... Uh, just for his tanks and his missile launchers he just doesn't have enough there and now we're going to be able to destroy his base and you can see him selling up now I think so that's going to be good game for yellow the thing is now though is we've still got an opponent left uh, which is in the top left hand corner and what you can see is fighting yellow I've lost a large number of my tanks and uh, so blue's had a bit of time to build up so the question is Am I going to have enough? Am I going to be able to use my units uh, to defeat Blue? And what we're going to do is we've got that yellow infantry. So while I'm just while I'm just waiting to, for the attack with, yeah, that was wondering where it was there. Blue, I'll just kill that yellow infantry. I don't know if that's Yellow's last unit, and um, we'll find out, I guess. And Yellow is officially out the game. So now it's a 1v1, uh, me against Blue. So we'll see uh, how he does. And if we can actually uh, win this from this, because uh, obviously from our first battle, we lost our construction yard, we lost our power plants. So we're going to see if we can win this uh, from here. And it's just going to depend on how many tanks I guess he has. And we're going through the back way at the moment. We can see that Blue has also built missile launchers. And as, as I said before, missile launchers aren't the best uh, things for tank battles. Uh, they just don't do uh, that much damage. He's also got some mammoth tanks as well. And I do think mammoth tanks are a bit of waste uh, for the amount they cost. I've still got... And I'm just like pulling back a little bit because I don't want to get uh, running too far. Um, and what I'm worried about as well is if he's using Tesla coils, because if I run those tanks into Tesla and his tanks, then I could be in a little bit of trouble. But we're going to get a couple of good tank kills there, and we're going to sort of go to the other side of his base and harass his economy at the same time. So he's got three tanks there. That was a bad move because those tanks are isolated, and tanks do well when they're in large masses. And you can see him pulling units in one at a time. So this is good for me because it's going to be less economical for him. Uh, but now he's got his tank mass together. Um, so we're going to just uh, have to try and micro as much as possible. And that just means moving our, our tanks around using what's called Q-Move and just destroying all lows. And you can see my tank mass is quite low. I've got quite a low number on HP, but his tank mass is also falling and it's looking, starting to look better for us. Uh, we managed to take out his... And we'll take out his ore trucks as well, just to get rid of his economy, so he can rebuild up those units. And you can see those ore trucks just exposed there. He's got no tanks to defend. And what he should have done probably is build his, built his base out. If he's built his base out, he could have uh, maybe built some Tesla coils. We can see there he's got a airfield, and that's probably so he can do some scouting with spy planes. And uh, we'll destroy that. And I'll have to just be careful, actually, because he might have, like, paratroopers, possibly. Uh, well, or he, could, he might ha have had that. 
and now we're into the side his base and we're going to destroy his construction yard I think that looks like it's going to be his only one and it's looking very good for us here we can see he's got a couple of ore trucks but they're not working anymore and yeah we're just tearing his base apart and you can see there he's got a helicopter which doesn't do too much um, really against tanks um, yeah it might do a bit of a damage be a little bit annoying but we're also going to destroy his helipad so he's not going to be able to recharge it uh, to keep on fighting I think that's what you need to do with helicopters so all helicopters yeah so that helicopter goes down and yep there we've destroyed all his things now what he does actually now is he starts moving his helicopter around as you can see and the problem is my tanks can't fire in air I don't have a barracks, so I can't build any paratroopers. We can see there's an infantry guy there, though, so we go to attack him. And, uh, so, yeah, he, he has, I think, an infantry guy and a helicopter left. And then when he moved uh, that helicopter again, uh, what I decided to do is just go for a walk and came back a bit later. And when I came back a bit later, his helicopter was there. I don't think it, I think he thought I could wouldn't be able to reach it there, but um, I just selected all and just brought my tanks up. But yeah, this was sort of like the game. Uh, and yeah, it was just uh, obviously after losing the power and my construction yard, it did look like it was over for a time being. But at least I managed to pull it back and. Uh, beat defeat the other two players and I th it was a good jo job I attacked as early as I did because if I didn't attack that early and get those tanks early on then I think I would have been uh, Red would have been able to beat me because he built that early MCV right okay so I uh, hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching